Have you ever seen a noodle this long? I don't think you have. It's like a zucchini rope. Hi, I'm Callie, a professional food stylist, and this is the show where I teach you how to style food to look amazing for social media. It's time to plate it perfect. Today, I am making a Thai salmon Buddha bowl. The beauty of this type of bowl is all the elements coming together to make something fantastic. So my favorite way to style salmon for photo is actually to make it in a skillet. And I love using butter for salmon because when butter gets warm, it foams up and gets a little bit of a golden color to it. And that really creates a beautiful sear on my salmon. So I'm gonna start things off with about two tablespoons of butter and melt that up. Now, this bowl is all about layering, all about building, and all about creating visual interest. So, I'm gonna add some texture with some flaky salt and some coarse ground black pepper. Grind it yourself. It looks better if you do it just to make some chunky pieces, some smaller pieces, so use a coarse grinder. So, I wanted to show you guys what I'm going for. This is some salmon that I've already cooked. The part of the fish that you wanna show towards camera, that you wanna show up, you put down on the pan first. I love how we can see this golden, almost brown hue on the edges. You can see how the peppers create a texture on the top, definition to the ribbing of the fish. I love that. I don't want to overcook our salmon because my vision for the Buddha bowl is that I have it flaked and you see that beautiful pink juicy flesh. So I want to make sure I only cook it for about two to three minutes on each side. Once you see your butter starting to foam, it's money, honey. And we're going to put this top side down in the butter. Yum, and you can hear that kind of starting to cook. The reason why salmon skin sticks to cooking surfaces is because your pan or your grill or whatever you're cooking on is not hot enough. So I don't wanna flip it until the very last second when I'm really convinced that it's golden brown and done on that bottom side. Don't touch it. Wait until it's been on there at least two minutes before you even start peeking. Trust me, I don't want you to get in there and rip the skin of a beautiful, expensive piece of fish. When you think it's ready, gently run a fish spatula or a rubber tip spatula underneath it so you can just gently loosen it and flip it over. Ah, pretty. Picking up texture on the top. I have taken some time to brown the sides. And I like how the tone here is a tad bit lighter than this salmon. So if you have time, it's always a good idea to maybe cook one extra piece or two extra pieces. So then you can see how it looks on camera and you can always eat it as well. So that's exciting. Now that my salmon is done, I'm going to get to building the bowl. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the sauce. This is a Thai peanut sauce, which I love. I eat it so much. But the key with this is that I wanted to get to a drizzly texture. This is all whisked up and then I kind of want it thick like that. If I want it a little thinner, I'll add some hot water. Next element of our bowl. I love this machine. It is a great way to make veggies look appealing on camera. I want to start out with our zucchini. You're going to want to put the thicker side towards the spiralizer and the smaller side towards this scary looking plate with sharp points on it. Make sure you put pressure to push it into the side because if you don't, stuff flies everywhere. Your zucchini's flying around. It's the zucchini party, but not the kind we want. Look at that. These look incredible. Oh, and I keep the skin on the zucchini because they really want that pop of green on the noodle. Our zoodles are made. All right, I'm coming for you, carrot. Carrots are a little bit trickier because they can be a little thinner. Cut it to where it's thick. So I'm gonna take a knife and just cut it. Leave that for snacking later. And then there you go. Spiralize away. I love the difference in size too from the long, thick zucchini noodles and then we'll have our pretty little wispy carrots. Ooh, this is burning my arm. It's a workout. Just see that pretty light texture. Now I'm gonna build my bowl. And the base of this bowl is spinach. I love building things on spinach because it's pretty hefty and it's a pretty hefty grain to build things on top. Of. I'm just gonna make sure that I have the pretty leaves on top. And if you're building your bowl and your spinach looks a little wilty, stick it into a sink full of ice water for about 15 minutes and that will perk it right back up. Salmon is probably our star ingredient of this bowl. So I'm gonna put that in there first. But I wanna show you an easy way to get the skin off. Run like a butter knife underneath the skin. Run a little knife action. See how it just gently falls. And there you go, skin's off. And I'm just gonna gently flake some chunks. Oh, the salmon is cooked really well. You can see how it's juicy, how it's moist. Moist. And I'm just gonna build some chunks into the top of our bowl, making sure I get some of that skin in there for that pretty color contrast of the pink and the salmon with the green, and just build some in. And I don't wanna put every ingredient right in the middle because that is just gonna look like a hot mess. So I wanna be strategic about where I place things so that the overall visual flow makes sense and nothing looks too overwhelming. So we've got our salmon. I'm gonna add my avocado, which I sliced earlier. I'm gonna Plug this in, probably more towards the edge of the bowl. I love seeing avocado when it's fanned out in a really pretty fashion. Next up are the zoodles I made earlier. We have a ton of them to choose from. I'm just gonna wanna create some pretty twirly shapes in here. Oh my word, the never ending noodle. 
kind of twirl them around, around your fingers. Get some pretty nice organic shapes. This looks really cool. This is super fun. I love building bowls. I think y'all are gonna really enjoy it because you get to be so creative and you get to play, which is the best. Next up is our carrots. I'm going to add a little bit of texture in here. The color of the carrot is gonna pop so beautifully on camera. You've got the lightness of the zoodles, the heavier salmon, the heavier avocado right there. And because I have these two heavier items, I'm gonna add in some sliced radish because this is a really delicate look and I think it's gonna help visually break up that space a little bit. The color of the magenta radish with the white, it pops up, it looks great, and I'm ready to style this up. So I feel really great about how all of the props are looking, the contrasting colors, and I'm gonna go in and add some final touches to our bowl. It looks like we need some more spinach around on the outside. So I'm just gonna go in and maybe add some pieces to kind of fill the side out just a little bit. Add that leaf here. The next thing I wanna add is some more radishes. So just kind of play. I like these little half sliced pieces, kind of fade into a shape. That's beautiful. Now I'm putting in the sauce. I'm just gonna use a light drizzle. We're just catching some on the zucchini noodles. Next I'm going to do the sriracha. I love the pop of red. Lightly drizzle this. I'm gonna add some crushed peanuts and add to that Thai inspiration. Maybe kind of concentrate them too, maybe in one little area. I'm going to add some black sesame seeds. Maybe put those in one kind of area as well so everything's not colliding together. Flaky sea salt. Probably a couple sprigs of cilantro. Pick out your pretty guys. I'm just gonna kind of put those in the corner. One thing I wanted to add was some zoodles around the bowl. That's perfect, I like that. Add some extra little drizzles of salt right here just to create maybe some visual interest. Also gonna add some peanuts. I love the texture of this service. This slate light blue looks beautiful, contrasted to the antique gold of the tray along with the gold fork and then this beautiful black on the bowl and the punches of color on the inside of the bowl. It all works together really well. And I am ready to go take the photo.